In today's video, I'm gonna tell you how you can get a BS in business administration management in as little as six months. And the best thing about this is not only are you gonna save a bunch of time, you can get a degree in as little as six months, but it's also going to be cheaper, easier, and you're not gonna to have to quit your job or move across the country. And this is all possible because of something called competency-based education. And there are a few universities out there that are regionally accredited, respected. In this particular case, the one I'm gonna tell you about is a top 10% school where you can do this at. Most universities, aka traditional education, they're gonna make you go to school for at least four years to get your bachelor's degree. And on average, it's actually 5.1 years. But if you attend a competency-based university, like the one I'm gonna talk about in this video, WGU or Western Governors University, you can get it much faster. And this is something that previously I only revealed to my consulting clients, but I posted a few videos here on YouTube. People really loved it and they wanted me to make a series on it. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And not only did I make a series on it, but also uh, myself, my team, and my friend Josh Matikor worked really hard on a cheat sheet that makes this entire process insanely easy. So if you appreciate me doing all this hard work for you, go ahead, gently tap that like button, and let's jump into it. All right, so this is a simple four-step process, and you need to follow each step, and you really need to take your time and do it exactly as I say in this video. Some of these steps might seem extremely easy, and you might kind of like pass over them, not spend very much time on them, but I highly recommend that you actually really take your time with these. So the very first step is going to be transfer in all of your existing credits. Now, in this particular case, we are going to be using WGU, Western Governors University. But like I said before, there are other competency-based universities that are pretty good as well. And this entire process is going to work relatively the same with a few tiny little changes here and there with those other universities. Now, when it comes to transferring in your credits, you definitely want to get your transcript, right? So obviously, they're going to accept things like AP and IB classes during high school. They're also going to accept any college credit that you currently have. And then, of course, they're also going to accept CLEP exams, uh, any type of special exams, certifications, etc. But the one that you might be a little surprised about is they also accept work experience in some cases as well as military experience. So make sure you talk with your counselor, send your transcript in, and really see which classes you can knock out using your existing credits and experience. So for example, uh, this person here, 817 Texan, they uh, said that they transferred in 21 credit units, which means that they had 100 credit units left. They were able to dedicate about 10 to 15 hours a week to school and they completed their entire degree in three terms which is approximately a year and a half right so there is endless amounts of testimonials on YouTube reddit etc all over the internet of people who have used similar strategies to this who are able to get their degrees really fast now in this particular case it looks like they were able to do it in about a year and a half and you can do it even faster than that if you use these strategies now once you have transferred in all of these credits uh, you're not gonna enroll in fact you're not gonna enroll until step number four. So the next step is you are going to test out of a bunch of the remaining classes using third party companies. Now you might be asking, hey, WGU is competency based, it's accelerated, you know, you can finish it super fast. So why would you use these third party companies? Well, the answer to that is very simply, they're faster, easier, and cheaper. Now, I'm gonna warn you, as much as I love WGU, they still do want to make money, so they might be kind of pressuring you to enroll at this point. And I highly recommend that you don't do that because you're gonna be able to knock out, especially the entry-level classes, extremely quickly using these third-party companies. So the three that I recommend personally and the three that are just like very smooth, it's like a frictionless experience, especially the first one, is going to be study.com, sophia.org, and straighterline.com. Now there are others out there, but those are the three that I've had the best experience with. And my favorite is study.com followed by sophia.org. Now some people use really complex strategies, like they'll take you know these three classes from uh, Straighterline and five classes from Sophia and like 10 classes at study.com. And if you want to, you can look those up and maybe you'll save yourself like 30 minutes here and there. But if you just want a pretty straightforward experience, I do recommend study.com. They seem to have the best user interface. Um, it's the easiest to understand and comprehend and it just seems to be the most frictionless one. I got this. Now this particular degree, Business Administration Management, has 40 total classes. And you can very easily test out of these classes about one per week, even if you're super busy, even if you got a family, even if you're working full time. I'm a little busy right now. 
If you're not super busy, you can test out of them much quicker than that. So for instance, some of my students have reported to me, they're able to test out of like one class per day, sometimes even multiple classes per day. And this is especially true for the entry level ones that are super easy. Now, another great thing about doing this as well as just going to WGU in general is you don't really have to buy an expensive textbook or buy any extra like random quizzes. Sometimes they'll make you buy like a, a clicker or something like that to take these random quizzes. There's all these weird little, you know, things that universities make you buy that just waste your time and your money. And WGU and, and study.com don't have this issue. And by the way, I made this entire process ridiculously easy, making a cheat sheet. It maps out the exact class you can take at study.com. You can even click on it and go straight to the class uh, with the class that it maps to at WGU. So it just makes the whole process ridiculously easy. And I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And here in a few minutes at the end of the video, I'm actually going to go through step by step exactly how to use this cheat sheet. So once you have taken all these classes using study.com, sophia.org or straighter line, you're going to go ahead and transfer them in. And then you're going to move on to step number three, which is you are going to go ahead and pre study the remaining classes, right? So you're not going to enroll in WGU yet, you're going to take those remaining classes, you're going to look at the curriculum, and then you're going to pre study it. And the reason you want to do this is because the whole goal of going to WGU is to graduate in terms of the time you're actually enrolled at WGU as fast as possible. And the reason for this is because they charge you by the term. So they charge you every six months about $3,500 or so. And so you really want to try to graduate from WGU in one to two terms max if possible. And that's going to keep your costs as low as possible. In many cases, people end up not spending any money at all with the grants, scholarships, and student aid. Now, the two best resources, and this is going to be different for every single degree at WGU, is going to, first of all, be the WGU subreddit. And specifically, each degree has their own subreddit. Now, some of the subreddits are more active than others, but this can be a great resource because people will share tips and tricks, uh, methods for studying for the courses, as well as how to pass the test as quickly and efficiently as possible. So a lot of the time they will tell you the exact sources they used to study to pass these tests. Another really good resource is going to be the WGU Facebook group. So it's very similar to the subreddit, except it's a Facebook group. So I'd say it's a little easier to network because you're actually talking to other real people on Facebook. And they do the same thing. They share tips, tricks, and strategies on how to pass these classes and pass the tests as quickly and easily as possible. There's also, of course, great resources all across the internet. Google, YouTube, uh, Khan Academy is great. If you're a textbook type of person, you can download either free or very cheap textbooks online. Line, or you can just order it from Amazon if you want a physical textbook. If you order one that's a few years old, it'll probably be like $20 to $30. And then when you feel really confident about your studying, you think you can pass those tests really quickly, you want to move on to step number four, which is enroll in WGU and test out of those classes as fast as possible. So here is an example of someone who was able to complete 117 credit units in six months. So it's absolutely possible to do this. And this is the exact degree uh, business administration management. Uh, here's another person who was able to transfer in 23 credits and then test out of 97 credits. So it looks like they were also enrolled for only one term. So many examples on the internet of people using these strategies in order to get through these classes as fast as possible. Now, a normal college degree in the United States of America takes around 5.1 years on average. So if you are able to test out of a degree in six months and you didn't have to quit your job, you didn't have to move across the country, you're able to do it quickly and easily, you probably don't take out any debt, you spend maybe a few thousand dollars or in some cases nothing, versus having to upend your entire life and go to college for five years, I think you can see why this is such an attractive option for people. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the cheat sheet and I'm gonna take you through a step-by-step -step example of something that would probably happen, it would look very similar to what you would do if you enrolled in WGU and use the methods that I talked about in this video. All right, so here we are in the cheat sheet. And as you can see uh, on the far left here, this column um, is the ID numbers for all the WGU classes. In this column, it shows the class names at WGU and then the amount of units in each class. This column right here is probably the most important one, and that is the study.com classes that you can take and then transfer into WGU. So just for an example here, uh, the English 104 study.com class, which is number 57, transfers in for English Composition 1. 
So super easy. Um, also color coded it. Uh, these green classes are the general education classes, and these tend to be the easiest, generally speaking. Um, and then as you go down, the core classes are a little bit more difficult, and then the program specific classes are a little bit more difficult, generally speaking, as well. So that's not always true, though. Sometimes they're not that hard. And if you want to go ahead and do this exact process that I'm about to show you, all you have to do is just go file and make a copy. Um, you need a Gmail account and you'll pretty much be good to go. Um, and you can just do this entire you know, process with me step by step, basically the same way that I'm about to show you. So we're going to go ahead and do step one, which is we're going to transfer in our existing credits. So in this particular case, um, you know, I'm, again, I'm just making all this up. Let's say you took um, AP calculus during high school. So that transferred in for math 101. You also took AP biology. Uh, during high school as well that transferred in and then you took ap economics and that transferred in then you took one semester at community college where you took art uh, and sociology and you transferred those classes in as well so that's not too bad uh, a lot of the times people will transfer in even a lot more than that but you know you'll probably end up transferring in at least a few classes from your experience um, as well as classes you've already taken. Then you're gonna go ahead and move on to step two, which is the test out phase. And if you are a little bit sad because you weren't able to transfer classes in, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, it'll maybe set you back like a week or two at most because the test out phase is so insanely effective. And this is probably the most important phase uh, out of all four steps. So you're gonna go ahead and test out of these classes using study.com, Straighterline, or Sophia. Uh, some people do like a combination of the three, but again, just to keep things simple, I find that when you try to overcomplicate things, people get really confused. I just did study.com. Uh, in the future, I may update this and do the Sophia.org uh, stuff as well, and possibly even Straighterline. And I'll also try to keep up to date if uh, study.com adds classes because uh, sometimes they do. But just keep in mind that if you make a copy uh, any changes I make will not be on the copy. It will be on the original. So just keep that in mind. So you tested out of all of these classes and, you know, you were able to do it much quicker, easier and cheaper than it would have been at WGU. And so you're going to move on to the next phase, which is you are going to pre-study the remaining classes. And there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 classes remaining. So you are able to test out of all except for 13 classes, and you're gonna go ahead and pre-study these remaining classes. And once you feel comfortable and confident, uh, you're gonna go ahead and enroll in WGU, and your goal is to try to test out of all the classes in one term, right? That's the goal, two terms max, but if you pre-study the classes, you really should be able to do one term, especially for this particular degree. It's not one of the more difficult degrees at WGU. So you will move on to step four, you'll enroll in WGU and knock the rest of the classes out as fast as you possibly can. And then you're gonna go ahead and brag to your family and friends that you were able to graduate with a bachelor's degree in less than a year. And if you're nice, you will share this video with them so that they can do it as well. Now, one thing I did want to say is WGU is a phenomenal school, but there's two things. First of all, there are other competency-based universities, and some of them might have the degree that you're looking for, whereas WGU doesn't have it, or there might be other reasons why you go to those other universities. And then the second thing is WGU is great and competency-based universities are great, but they're not necessarily for everyone. There's always going to be downsides. There's nothing in life that only has upside and no downside. So the downside to WGU, for instance, one of them is that it's completely remote, right? So some people cannot concentrate if they're doing everything completely remotely. Maybe you're trying to do your studies at your house and you know, you've got like kids around you or, or it's just like really loud uh, and you just cannot concentrate. So that's definitely going to be a downside. And there are other pros and cons to going to WGU, which I talk about in this video right here. So I highly recommend you check that video out. Go there right now um, because you're definitely going to want to know the pros and cons.